Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the smart Whirlpool top load washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've been on a bike. I really like it. Living a healthy life free of gambling problems is a lot of fun and a nice change of pace. Did you say race? No. Yes. <laughs> Reconnect with yourself and the ones you love. If gambling is creating a problem for you, there's hope and help. For more information, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. That's evergreencpg.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. The man who claims to have the world's biggest manhood. That's the Falcon. Uh, yeah, you got. I love how you know the guy's name. That was impressive, Steve. We've, wow. we've had him on the show before. Oh, many years ago, because Rolling Stone wrote an article about his bone. Oh, I totally forget. <laughs> I, I totally forget that interview. Wow, we actually talked about Jonah Falcon, huh? I, gosh, it had to been like, like maybe like year one of us. Wow. I, remember, I still had his number for the longest time, and then when I was like. Back we went before like phones could easily just transfer numbers, you know, with the cloud and stuff. And I'm going through all the phone and I'm like, why do I still have this guy's number? <laughs> like, what am I ever <laughs> going? Like, why is he in my phone? You never like, know. Am I ever going to be at a bar and be like, you know what, guys? You want to talk to the dude with the biggest mule? I got yeah. his phone number. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it turns out we're going to talk to him today, Steve. Damn it. I He's back in the news. I wish I wouldn't have deleted it. Yeah, he, uh, so Jonah, Jonah Falcon, who of course, uh, does claim to have the world's biggest manhood, um, says that his unusual bulge caused him to be stopped by airport security. And I'll tell you, you know, even like you go through the airport and, you know, metal detectors are one thing. And they tell you to take stuff out of your pockets for that reason, because you go through those scatter scanners and they notice bulgy stuff. It doesn't oh. have to be. It's not always just metal. They look for the, the bulgy stuff. And so here's Jonah going through and they're like, OK, what the hell's going on over here? And apparently his 13 and a half inches got him stopped at the airport. Serves that a bomb in your pants? No, it's a dong. They thought I had something in my pants. Maybe they thought it was a um, dynamiter. I don't know. They took me out of the line and they they had me powder my fingers. I think that detects if I have any bomb stuff and all that. They never actually patted me down or grabbed it or anything like that. It was just me calmly explaining. It was like 10 minutes out of my life, but it was still funny. I was never worried about anything. What was the worst that was going to happen? They were going to have to make me pull it out. Wow. I like that he compared himself to a stick of dynamite. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's not. He's probably not wrong. <laughs> See, I, thought, I always thought it was drugs that they were looking for. I didn't know that they were looking for dynamite. Yes. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Like, I thought it was like a bag of Coke or something. Um, or bombs. Uh, but yeah. You no, know, Danny, that's why they started this whole thing was because of explosives. Oh. You know, uh, that's, I didn't know that's that. why. Yeah, yeah, that's why a lot of people like yeah. the, like, even like TSA people have been interviewed. Like, yeah, they're not, those dogs are not sniffing you for drugs. They're sniffing you for bombs. Oh. Yeah, it's all, all because of 9 11, which of course I get it. You know, it was 20, you know, 20 years ago. So a lot of people forget that these TSA things started just for that reason. Yeah. What if that's like, <laughs> I'm just picturing him, and no matter what's going on, he just instantly assumes it's because of his large package. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, you're not going to let me into the store? Is it because of my massive bulge? <laughs> yeah. Is that what's going on? It's or maybe that's why they, did they think he's stealing stuff when right. he walks out with that massive bulge. Like, okay, what do you got down there? Tea kettle? What are you doing, pal? <laughs> right. No, that, that's just me. I know you're following me down each aisle of this grocery store. Is it because of my massive bulge? Yeah. I'm Jonah Falcon. I have the largest manhood. I don't know if you know this, but I've got more meat than your entire meat department. 
Just so I let you know that. Yeah. Without being graphic. Vicky. No. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think I know the question. I'm going to say no, no, no. No, that's okay. not even the question. What would just be the initial reaction? Would you want to be warned? Or would it be like one of those things where it's just like, surprise? Like, you know. I would want to be warned. Like, so if you're on a date with Jonah and he just said, hey, just by the way, I, I, I have something down there that's going to really kind of take you aback. <laughs> uh, the first thing I would say is prove it. Oh, I would. Wow. I'd be curious because most guys are like, "Oh yeah, I'm so amazing." I'm like, "Well, you really didn't pay attention in school, did you? That's not what. You, you've never looked at a ruler, did you? Because you're wrong." Uh, and then after that, I'd be like, "Okay, well, it was really nice meeting you." Oh, so you would not want to hang out with that guy? <gasps> no, because oh. I was reading like you know how just kind of comparing it and stuff. He said it's you know. Uh, no. <laughs> it's about the size of your whole forearm. Yeah, he said like the 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 the, the width is just ridiculous. Mm. I'm like, no, 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 no. And with I'm great okay. power comes great responsibility, BJ. See, that's going to be right? so sad for him because usually, <laughs> I mean, this because uh, I've heard this before, whether or not it's true. But I, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of well endowed men have said that you, it's not as good as you think it is because there are people like Vicky who will run away. So they'll be like, prove it, and and usually a guy goes, okay. I mean, if she's asking to see this, this is going to be a good time. And then they run away, and therefore they're just left holding the bag, as it were. Yeah. Um, I think the most impressive part about Jonah Falcon is that he's on Cameo. Right? For oh. 25 bucks, you can get a Cameo from him. Oh, I didn't know he was on Cameo. Do you, you think, Christmas. can you get an X-rated Cameo? Because I feel like you Everybody's really... Everybody's got a price, BJ. Yeah. I mean, yeah, don't you want... Bucks, probably. Don't, yeah. Don't you want him to, I mean, that's what he's known for. You don't want to see his face at this point. You just want to say, hi, how are you? Maybe like do a puppet show. That would be one of the stranger cameos to get because you're right. Not, he's not going to show anything. So it's just going to be like, hey, Danny, it's me, Jonah Falcon, the man with the 13 and a half inch sausage. <laughs> I just want to leave you a message to say happy birthday. Your buddy Steve paid for this. Yes, he paid for this. <laughs> I've got a candle for you to blow out. Yeah, and I'm thinking, yeah, I think it might, might, and your buddy's a moron, obviously. Yeah, he is. Apparently, one of the reviews, if this person's telling the truth, he said, he promised me a more revealing video, but never responded, basically ghosted me. But he still uh, gave him three stars out of five. Well, there you go. Yeah, would you do at least a full body shot while you're wearing boxers? I mean, he's done it before. It's on the internet. Or like tights or something like that. Just be like, hi, I'm Jonah. You know, oh, yeah. you know why you, you got a cameo from me. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, on the, he's on the internet, what, full, full frontal on the internet? Well, like, it was really, really tight underwear. Yeah, I don't, oh. think, he ever, I don't think he ever gets naked. Mm -mm. Oh, well, all right. Well, the tight underwear is, I mean, I, I mean, what are you going to do? That's as best you can get. I mean, yeah. you can get those yoga pants. I'm sure they can tell you everything you want to know. Well, I didn't ask to see it, Vicky. I just asked <laughs> just to see it. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we were why take... would you? You know what I mean? <laughs> it, 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 what what it, a nightmare are you? Why would you just go, oh, by the way, here's a penis? It's yeah, usually when I... word for it. Well, normally, BJ doesn't take my word for it. He's like, are you sure? Are you well, sure yes, you read that right? A, I'm like, there you go. It's usually it. about food or things that I like, for crying out loud. Here's a picture of him and his sausage. I'll take your word for it. Mm. Okay, well, now I know. Thanks. I love sausage. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, but at least I didn't have to pay him a cameo price for that, huh? Hey. Uh, that's the good news. How does this guy not do porn? If you're going to say you have the world's biggest, aren't you, like, don't you just do porn? Don't you lean into that? I am surprised hey. he hasn't been approached. I'm sure he has. Yeah. I'm positive. In fact, I feel like we might have when we talked to him that he, from what's funny, someone says amazing that Steve can't remember what he said five minutes ago, but he remembers the name of the guy about... <laughs> Yeah, it's true. The large whiner. Whiner. Wiener. Whiner. Whiner. <laughs> Very good. Hello. You work with the large whiner. It's, we're talking about the large wiener. Mm -hmm. I got to uh, imagine he's been approached about it. Maybe maybe just morally he's not into the idea. Yeah. But he's but he's into the idea of basically taking pictures and showing that he's got it. I, I guess he's got difference. he's got a thin line, no doubt about it. There's a, there is a thin line, but you know there's stuff you can do with yourself and your wife uh, or your girlfriend. They, they, you yeah, know. Can, maybe your wife or girlfriend don't want to be in these videos. Mm. Well, you know what? Well, don't they want to make money? Um, <laughs> I yeah, I, I, how freely how freely do you share this info? Like, are you at a bar and just be like? Hey, so what? You, tell me a little bit about yourself. Do you just tell them about your job, or do you just straight up say, I have the record for the largest sausage? Steve, right. I think he can't hide it. If he can't go to an airport and not be, like, flagged because of how he big his bulge is. it with, like, some joggers. <laughs> I don't know. About I don't joggers. know. I mean, he, I, 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 I mean, like I jean mean, joggers, <laughs> like a little loose pants or something like that. I, I guess, but he, I mean, look, dude, I, I, I mean, I've been to, I've been to an airport. You've got to have a pretty big bulge showing in order for them to flag you with those things. 
you know. But did they flag him because he went through that scanner thing, and that's how they saw the bulge? Because in that situation, the clothes he could have baggy clothes on, but they'll still. See, why are we still talking about this bulge? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I know that if you can visibly see, like, like I now realize when I look at my pants, like you can, if you look at my pockets, you can see I've got a phone, and you'll go like, BJ, you got a lot of stuff in your pocket because you know I put everything in my pockets. You could see it if you looked. That's why I'm thinking if you're looking at the dude, which. You know, I mean, if if a woman is like, oh, hey, how you doing? I don't know if women size guys up the way guys size up women. You might notice, but I, I don't know. Maybe you're right, Steve. Maybe he wear he can wear something like, I, what, what can you wear? Like uh, overalls? Hammer uh, pants. Hammer yeah. pants. Hammer pants. All right. There you go. <laughs> to hide his hammer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can wear camouflage pants. That way you can't see it, even if you can see it. Yeah. I, I would be in porn. I would definitely take the job. I mean, you, yeah. you feel like you feel like you're giving this for a reason. It's your money. Well, it's a gift from God, and you need yes. to share it. <laughs> well, 13 and a half. I mean, in other words, look, I use God's gifts, like my voice, to make a living. I mean, if I... Oh, your real voice is a God's gift? Yes, Rev. <laughs> All right. Well, isn't everything we get a gift from God if you're a believer? I mean, whatever it is you're good at, isn't that really a gift from God? I mean, all the football players thank God for all their talents. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i making money doing this. I don't, I'm not trying to sound conceited. I just feel like... This is how I make a living, and this is, I guess, a gift. Not, isn't it? No? Vicky, can you just stop I, looking I, on the not. internet? I'm being very distracted. I by know. All these. I died. Is she still looking del- at sausages? Yes. It was his. I all found these. one. Oh, God. What do you mean you found one? You found one. You're still looking for a Sammy sausage? I wasn't. I was looking to see what else he has said about the porn industry because he is okay, actually. Sure you are. So it says that the reason he refused was because it would be, quote, just the easy way out, unquote, and he wished to pursue a more decent acting career. And so he does a podcast or whatever. And I started following that rabbit hole and then I found a schlong. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's used so he, to Jonas Schlong. Yeah. Uh, so he wants to be an actor, and of course we've never heard of him acting. We only mm-hmm. heard of him because of his penis. No, he's done some very small things. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Well, he needs to be humbled. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, everything can be big for this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think after X amount of day, years not me being successful as an actor, then you go, Jonah. You know what your true calling is, okay? And Hollywood's saying no, but Vivid is saying yes. Show it your whale. Everyone wants to see your whale. <laughs> there true. we go. That's wow. That could be his, like his stage name, Jonah Whale, which, you know, would be a pretty Well, cool. I mean, Jonah Falcon's still pretty cool. Yeah. yeah Jonah right Falcon's a badass name for it, so many different reasons. It really is. Action yeah. star, porn star. Yeah. Ooh. Rock uh, and roll star. Rock and roll star. Wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, well. He should be a wrestler. <laughs> then his oh finisher is the Anaconda Vice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna pull it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, a new survey asked people, "What would their ideal date be?" And what do you think topped the list of an ideal date? Well, you know, I'm going to tell you. We'll do that at eight eighteen on the Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances, like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer, featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562 314 4603 for complete details. kids it's so good to see you again grandma and i have to catch up why don't you play in the other room for a bit okay it's good to see you again mom we all missed you i'm sorry it took so long i lost a lot to my gambling problems but i'm happy to have my life back with you we are too mom if gambling is creating a problem for you call the washington state helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org 
take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A new poll gave people six date options and asked which one they would prefer. And uh, they gave people six options. And here's what people said that uh, would be the number one thing. And um, I hate to tell you, but uh, sex is not number one. Well, I didn't think it was going to be number one for a date. Yeah. I mean, that, never, that seems like that's the end result of a fun date. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Maybe it'll happen. But I never think, oh, what do you want to do for a date? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's just Tinder, right? Sex. Yeah, that's that's a booty call. Yeah. yeah. I, well, it's number six on the list, though. So, Ooh. I mean, it, it is up there. Meeting up to uh, bang. Yeah. Matter of fact, 44% say they would have uh, sex on a first date in 2021. So uh, that's like, you know, almost half the people said, yeah, well, I'll have sex on the first date, sure. Well, after 2020, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> this well's been dry for so long. There's cobwebs. <laughs> cobwebs. Oh, Lord. How many guys, though, Happy wouldn't? Halloween. Right. You know, I, f- I-, I feel like out of that 44%, it's got to be uh, almost like 100% of guys. You know, if this is a 50-50 poll of women and men, how many guys are saying no to sex on the first date? I mean, unless they hate the first date. But like you said, Steve, like, hey, if it happens, how wonderful that would be. I think most guys would have your opinion. I'm trying to think of, like, what is the ultimate date? Like, what, like you know, honestly, that'd be, be expensive. But I think a great first date would go to a hockey game, go see the Kraken, be around nice. some people, you know, enjoy some food. You get to yell. You get to have fun. Hopefully they play well so you can celebrate and high five and high fives lead to sex. Yeah. Oh, high fives lead to sex. That's the shirt that they sell at the Kraken store. <laughs> Well, especially yeah. if you're going with uh, with a hockey fan, like you, like if you were if you were single and you took a girl, I think like your extensive knowledge of the sport might be like, oh, this is cool because I didn't know anything about it before, or vice versa. Yeah, I think also like even if you're both new to the sport, I think it's pretty it's so high energy that you probably get caught up in it. Yeah, well, that's an interesting call. I never thought of taking somebody to a sporting event, especially if I didn't know anything about it. I, I that's interesting. I feel like oh man, if I'm going to if I'm the one that's got to initiate this date, I feel like they're going to ask me questions because I'm the one that said, let's go to this event. And I, if I don't know anything, I'm going to feel like, oh, I'm going to feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> I don't know if you look at me like, look, I'm just as dumb as you are about this sport. I just thought it'd be fun to eat some. I wanted to try Shaq's Big Chicken. Right. Wouldn't you? Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> I can see that. I think uh, a baseball game would be fun, too, for different reasons because you have a fun background to you just hanging out, chilling, and just having a conversation. Baseball, I could see it a hundred percent because it's it's way more low key, and you're just sitting in the seats, and it's it can be quiet at times. Depends on the date. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you're going on a date because you just want to like tear it up on the night out and get wasted, like maybe a Hussy Ox game or a hockey game would be a fun way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the person. That, well, baseball can be slow and boring for some people. That could be tough. They could be sitting there going, "What are we? Why did you bring me here? It's three to four hours of this. What? Why? But there's time to talk. Yeah. yeah. So each of you can learn a little bit more about each other while you're being bored by baseball. And if you don't like it, you make look. We could just go to Dream Girls right across the street. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if this is boring. I've got yeah. some excitement for you, lady. <laughs> Poor lady. The, the only uh, the only <laughs> entertainment that showed up on this list was actually a movie. People yeah. still are willing to go to movies. I feel like a movie is not the way to go. I never got the movie thing. Not you're for not, first. You're not no. able to talk. Like, you're not able to do anything. Date five or six when like you've run out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> All it right. Feels a lot of yeah. date two. It feels like a movie. Like like if you want to do a movie thing, it should be you see the movie movie before and then talk about it like a book club or something um, yeah. like at least at that point you'd have something to talk about and you could talk to the person as opposed to waiting till the end of the movie is dinner just like a plain like restaurant number one that is number one sir yeah. yep yeah, i was gonna say pizza yep I, I would fall in line with that yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's my my ideal date would just be pizza and beer somewhere well, if you really want to wind down i'm just taking them on pizza there you go high-end pizza yeah. oh good they, call they get to decide what they want on it I, I'm happy to read. I'm happy to read that being number one because I know there were you know a lot of people that were were self conscious of going to dinner because they didn't really want to eat much. They didn't want to look like they ate a whole lot. I, I don't know how many guys had that problem because I didn't. I would be like, give me all the food. I don't care. You just got to not go to like chicken wings on the first date because then you're just they see Messy. how much of a slob you are. It's like what they always say like spaghetti too is a bad dating thing because you know if you're yeah. slurping and the sauce just gets all over your shirt. Pizza garlic bread. 
Yeah, pizza can kind of give you that situation. Not as yeah. bad. Not, yeah, not. I'm thinking like saucy chicken wings that are just all over your yeah. face. And the yeah, grease. there's that. And then if they're yeah. not eating their wings, you shame them for being like for wing abuse. Oh, yeah. Actually, like, Look, there's I, not enough meat off of those wings. Let me finish <laughs> yeah. that for you. I'm oh, stoked geez. for that because at that point I get more chicken wings. So, but you what if they've taken like two bites out of each wing? And then there's still like a bunch of meat on there. Yeah, I'm eating yeah. them. Yeah, you got to finish it. That's then. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And see if you do if you go with the dry rub, I think it'll be pretty safe when it comes down to the chicken wings. <laughs> so you got oh, the ranch. All right then. Are we okay. still talking about chicken wings? Yeah. I think so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we are. Yeah. I, I I I thought number two would be number one, and that's getting together for drinks because it just loosens you up a little bit if you're a little nervous. See, I feel like nowadays, if I was in that single world, I would be the king of like coffee dates. Yeah, yeah. you know, well, yeah, I yeah that's uh, number three on the list, by the way. Yeah, I think middle of the day, you could assess the situation, not feeling it. Take care. Yeah, Got what's how, the worst that happened? You like lost like eight dollars. <laughs> if you're nervous <laughs> for one drink, yeah. doesn't the coffee jack you up a little bit? See, maybe maybe just because I or I run high anyway, I high rev. I need something to calm me down. And if I go for a coffee date, I'm going to even be more nervous if I have caffeine. Yeah, that caffeine doesn't, doesn't, doesn't hit, hit you now. guys. Caffeine doesn't hit me that no. way. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you're wrong, you go to the local up. heroin store if you got to calm down. Oh, like, all right, thanks, man. It's not on the list, but it's, oh, oh, there it is, number seven. It, it yeah, Harry Heroin Emporium. It's on Pike Place. Yeah. Place. <laughs> yeah. There you place. Go. And honestly, for me, coffee is one of those things that with our schedule, I would need coffee to like stay yes. awake during a conversation. So, And maybe even an energy, energy drink on top of it. Yeah. Oh, that's why you get the the rum and diet. You know, you get the, the you get the the caffeine and the coke, and then you get the rum. The load. see, that's that's my strategy. I love, you know, I love this. Even text. it out. And this texture just said, "I literally just swiped right on a chick that's wearing a Kraken jersey, and her song was Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit. Hopefully, she swipes right Hi. back." Whoa, is that female Steve? <laughs> it might be me with a wig on. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> well. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Yeah. Keep us posted. That yeah. sounds like, I mean, that sounds like the wedding we all want to be at. What if that was your way of getting to a cracking game? I can't afford to go to a cracking game, so I'm just going to put on a wig and see who invites me to a cracking game. <laughs> it's a good way to do it, Danny. I mean, those tickets can be expensive. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What do you think of the new Limp Bizkit record? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite cracking player? Yeah. Wow. Talk about, that's a, the ultimate catfish right there. Uh, did we talk about going for a walk together? Because people say they like doing that for a first date. Huh. Walking's like exercise. Why would you want to go to exercise on a date? Well, then you need to find somebody that has your same exercise regimen idea. Oh, uh, I have. Yeah. Actually, yeah. exercise is way more than me. There are people that love hikes and things like that. I can see that work. I would feel like that's more of a couple dates in. You feel more comfortable with yeah. the person. Kind of weird to be like, hey, you want to go through the, into the woods with me for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you put it like that. See, I wasn't thinking that. I was just wow. thinking about how much I actually sweat on, on <laughs> hikes and stuff. Kind of, oh, yeah. Right, imagine, yeah. like, if I would go on a hike with, like, Sarah, who's, like, super in shape, and I'm like, <gasps> I'm having fun. <laughs> this is the best time ever. <laughs> Yeah, you really got to know your audience, no doubt. Yeah, I'd be in the same boat. Dan. I mean, I can go for a walk. Like, I can go for a like a, like, a, like an yeah, even you got hike. Your poles. But, yeah, oh, that's says, right. So it says, I feel like coffee dates are a terrible idea. It feels like an awkward interview with somebody. That's what dating is. Yeah, it kind of is, right? Yeah, and I can understand why you'd feel that way because that does seem to be a place where people do interviews as well. They're like, hey, are you, you interviewing you, for a barista or are you guys on the date? I'm yes. not sure. <laughs> yeah, Both. exactly. You're absolutely right. I um, that's why that's why I feel like an alcoholic beverage helps. You know, if, 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 but then again, you got to be careful not to do too many. But I feel like drinks are the way to go. But yeah, everyone's tired, I mean, and, and it is number two on the list. Uh, I, but look, I love a good meal, and you can also get drinks at most places where you can get a meal, so you can still do that. I wouldn't mind drinks later, but I don't want the night to start with drinks because I think then there's like a weird. You might be getting a different perception or a different like view of that person because some people are different when they've had a few drinks in them as opposed to when they don't have a few drinks. So if, what if you like the person that has a few drinks in them but not the person really that doesn't? Yeah. Oh, you can just be like feeding them fireball every time you see them. Yeah, been there. Right, that's not a bad idea. Been there. <laughs> I think you've. I, I think out. you've described yeah. every 1950s marriage, Steve. <laughs> Well, I've, I've gone out partying before, and I met this guy, and I'm like, oh, my God, you're amazing. He's like, you're amazing. We talked all night, and we're like, let's get together like the next morning or a couple days from now and hang out. And we just kind of sat there and didn't talk. We just oh. were not vibing sober. Wow. Yeah, I've had that happen. That many, I remember being on a date with someone, I'm like, this chick's awesome. And we go on an actual date after like meeting at a bar, yeah. and I'm like, man, dud city. Yeah, we <laughs> have nothing city. in common. It just... Except we like getting drunk, I guess. I don't know. That sucks. Yeah. 
So well, I said I go. took it down Rustin Way for my first date uh, to walk around Rustin Way. Been together four years now, and I got a nice make-out session, too. Oh, nice. Took you four yeah. years to make out? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was it a four-year-long make-out yeah. session. <laughs> they are saying, like, uh, in this article, 81% of the people are do like kissing on the first date. Like, they're all about that. Dude, Rustin Way in the summer is the spot to go in Tacoma. Like, Dude, yes. They've got, I mean, you want to do a movie? There's movie theater. You want to go to like fun little like random stores? There, there's stores like that. And then they got great restaurants. And it's just a party out there, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Oh, you can't great yeah, view yeah. of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to get down there. Good make out spots from what we hear, BJ. Right. <laughs> well, it looks like I can bring my poles there. It looks like there's enough room for them. Mm. Oh, you and your poles. Oh, <laughs> dude, poles everywhere, baby. You can even like, my poles. You could even rent one of those like little pedal vehicle things, pedal? like you know, pedal. Pedal. not a pedal boat. The ra- the ra- are you talking about the razor scooters? No, like just like a thing that you sit in and you have pedals on them and you just pedal yeah, around. Like a bicycle? bicycle? No, duh, I know what a bicycle is. You <laughs> rod. It's like a little carriage. Oh, I know what you're talking. They have them on Alki too. Like the little, what do they call them? Oh, like the things know. you get at the beach, like the pedal beach bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see things. Yeah. yeah, like the thing okay. that like five or six of you could sit in. And if you yeah. got kids, you can fit even more in there. All like right. Well, if I'm going myself, I think that's going to be a challenge. I'll, I'll just keep my poles. But if I have a family of five that I somehow have with well, me, I'm going to do it. They even got like bike ones, too, that you could rent. Oh, I could ride a bike. A bike or like a little like one that's like loaded a ground bike. I don't even know All how right. those are called. Yeah. Uh, so you just don't want me bring my poles. Adult big wheel. Just, yeah, just, oh, oh, okay, just don't bring my poles is what you're saying. Just ride anything but a pole. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. The female young of what animal is called a filly? Cheesesteak. No. Oh. Um, no. Uh, deer. No. Horse. Yes. How about you get that right? Ah, you surprise us. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs. We'll do that at 848 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's a question from a listener. Uh, My house is currently in foreclosure. I've stopped making payments. What can I do to save my house? If you're already in foreclosure behind on your mortgage, you can stop the foreclosure by filing a bankruptcy. There's different types of bankruptcy. Chapter 13 can help you catch up on your house payments if you're behind. It would mean that you'd have to start making your house payments again and catch up on the amount that you're behind over five years. You could also take off or strip off your second mortgage, which would help you to reduce your housing payment every month, especially once you're done with the plan and done catching up on your first mortgage. We could also try to buy you some time in the more in the in by filing a Chapter 13 case. Filing a Chapter 13 would definitely stop your foreclosure. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. And thanks for listening. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the Load and Go Dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. kids it's so good to see you again grandma and i have to catch up why don't you play in the other room for a bit okay it's good to see you again mom we all missed you i'm sorry it took so long i lost a lot to my gambling problems but i'm happy to have my life back with you we are too mom if gambling is creating a problem for you call the washington state helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.